on the road to making Oscar history. Drive My Car, the critically acclaimed Japanese film, is sweeping the world by storm. Premiering at the 2021 Cannes Film Festival and most recently taking home the prestigious BAFTAs Award for film not in the English language. Now breaking new ground at this year's Academy Awards, the film nominated for Best International Feature, Best Writing, Best Directing, and Best Picture. Becoming the first Japanese film ever to be nominated in the night's most coveted category. When I was arriving in Paris on transit, that's when I received a lot of messages. And then I found out that I was up for four nominations, and I felt that I had landed in a completely different world. At the center of all the buzz, Rusuke Hamaguchi, the director of Drive My Car, a creative known for transforming simple concepts like love and friendship into the sublime on the silver screen. Gucci first bursting into prominence with hits like Happy Hour and Asako 1 and 2. We sat down with him and his interpreter to talk about the historic moment of his latest film. Why do you think it took this long for a Japanese film to be nominated in this category? I think there has been many great Japanese films in the past, but I, so a part of me thinks that there's a change in the Academy that has also led to this, but also um, the way Asian films have been received has changed as well. A change in Academy sparked by massive backlash. Back in 2015 and 2016, when Hollywood was accused of lacking diversity. The Academy Awards nominated 20 white actors in a row for the best actor, best supporting actor races. And so that got trending, this hashtag, Oscar's so white, and kind of motivated the Academy to make some changes. Some of these changes inviting a more diverse class of voters into the Academy. These members ultimately tasked with deciding who gets a golden statue. Do you think that Drive My Car could have gotten all these nominations before these changes were made? I don't think Drive My Car would have been nominated uh, prior to these membership changes. It simply has to do with the perception among the Academy voters of just who is even in contention for an award like this. That expansion of Academy membership making the award show more of a global competition. What's the significance of these nominations? I think the significance of nominations like Drive My Car, but also the other non-English language films that have received uh, nominations outside of the international feature category is that it signals that the Oscars are no longer a domestic competition. That the Oscars, when they say best picture, they mean the best picture in the world. The universal language of grief and heartbreak spotlighted in Drive My Car. The film focusing on a widowed stage actor, meeting and later befriending his chauffeur, the two sharing a special connection. I believe that intimate conversations can happen in cars. I think the car space is mysterious in those ways because in some ways everybody is facing forwards and not necessarily looking at each other. And I think through that people find that some kind of truth might arise from them. <laughs> The film is an adaptation of a short story of the same name by celebrated writer Haruki Murakami. Why do you think so many people are moved by this film? One of the reasons I think has a lot to do with the coronavirus pandemic and the fact that many people have gone through grief. Um, and then a second part really is that I think the story itself is a story that anybody can really empathize with, especially when it's about losing somebody close to you. It's really a, a story about what it means to keep on living. Living despite loss, a theme that some say hits home in the Asian American community throughout the pandemic. Why is it so important for Asian films to be seen here in this country and globally? I think that unfortunately, you know, during the pandemic, we have seen a number of attacks against Asians and Asian Americans. I, I think that Asians in particular uh, have historically suffered from invisibility 
in the media. And so when you are able to see them um, mainstreamed in a way in which they're recognized by major awards shows, it kind of acknowledges the fact that like, yes, your stories belong and your stories deserve to be related to. Stories like Drive My Car may not have been possible, says Hamaguchi, without the pioneering works of others. Pong Jun Ho. Parasite. Parasite. Fellow director Bong Jung Ho and his film Parasite, dominating the Oscars two years ago, winning Best Picture, marking the first time any foreign language movie has ever won in that category. We feel that Parasite opened doors for us, and I feel that we're going through that same door that Parasite opened, and that's what's led to this nomination for us. And I feel that Parasite really reached out to a bigger and general audience in the U.S., and I feel that because of that, people have been going out to look forward to watch Drive My Car as well. But regardless of what happens after the big show this year, Hamaguchi hopes his path to the Oscars will help make it easier for the next generation of storytellers. If I can be of uh, some kind of help to young people, that would make me incredibly happy. I think everybody um, individually has ideas of what is right, and I think you just have to continue down that road to get to where you want to be, and I really hope that people can believe in what's right for them. Our thanks to Zareen. Drive My Car is now streaming on HBO Max. And we'll find out who takes home Oscars gold Sunday, March 27th, right here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.